yo, yo, I done met a lot of women in my lifetime, but see, it's not a lot of women that got the right women. Kalian pasti tidak asing dengan lagu ini, apalagi dengan sosok dari sang penyanyinya. Seorang rapper dari Amerika Serikat, yang beberapa tahun yang lalu bersyahadat dan menemukan kebenaran dalam agama Islam. Dia memilih masuk Islam, setelah kumpulan lagu terakhirnya terjual 7 juta kopi. Rapper itu adalah Chaun Si Lamon Hawkins, yang lebih terkenal dengan nama panggungnya, Lun. Saya tinggalkan dunia musik secara total. Saya total keluar dari komunitas di mana saya telah menghabiskan hidup saya selama 17 tahun, ujar Amir Junaid Muhadid, namanya setelah memeluk Islam. Kalian pasti masih ingat dengan gaya rapernya dalam lagu, I Need Eagles, yang hits pada tahun 2002. Dalam suatu kesempatan wawancara dengan stasiun TV Al Jazeera, Lun atau nama Islamnya Amir Junaid Muhadid, merasa bersyukur bisa menemukan Islam yang menurutnya sangat sulit menemukan Islam. Dan berkat Islam, saya dapat mengakhiri lengkapnya pencarian saya, ujar mantan rapper Amerika ini. Me, I actually really love the music, but it's the lifestyle that, that that's really the um, bad influence. You know, the music sometimes can be geared towards things that influence people to do positive things, but the actual, you know, part that um, detours people from, you know, practicing their faith or concentrating on positive things is really the lifestyle. Loon is uh, working his way out of my system, you know. <laughs> Just happy to be, you know, accepting Islam and finding the peace of mind that I was always searching for in the music business. And it was very difficult to find this uh, place in my life now, but um, thanks to Islam, I've been able to, you know, complete my search and now I'm very much at peace. So I was really thinking of, you know, trying to be more of an uh, influence of telling people that, you know, it's such a beautiful um, conversion to accept Islam and I haven't really entertained incorporating music into this transition yet. Like I said, I've been just trying to focus on being very knowledgeable of the Dean and, you know, focus on, right. you, know, you know, all the beautiful things that's taken place in my life these past seven months I've accepted Islam. And a lot of sacrifices that I've made to move away from that lifestyle, Allah has definitely blessed me with a beautiful replacement. And I'm just so, like, grateful to have that working in my life right now. Because, you know, being in a position of influence, you know, I have to be able to, you know, protect myself in ways, you know, the media sometimes, you know, try to use these transitions that artists make and try to make it, you know, saying an opportunity to make a mockery of Islam or whatever faith a person might choose. So I'm, you know, very much an advocate of trying to study the deen and become more knowledgeable of Islam. Di usianya yang sudah tidak muda lagi, Amir Junaid Muhadid lalu memberikan pandangan dan kunci-kunci nasihat, sebagai seorang mu'alaf yang pernah terkenal dan sudah merasakan gelimangnya sebagai bintang rapper sukses di Amerika Serikat, tentang ajaran Islam kepada semua orang yang belum mengenal Islam. Jangan sekali-kali meniru lagu-lagu barat dan perilaku mereka, serta apa saja yang dilakukan oleh penyanyi Amerika atau barat lainnya. Berbanggalah dengan Islam dan agama ini, yang sekarang sedang dicari-cari oleh orang-orang kaya dan orang-orang terkenal di dunia. Setelah mereka mengenal Islam, mereka akan tahu bahwa apa yang mereka kerjakan bertahun-tahun sebelumnya, tidaklah bermutu dan berguna, ujar Amir Junaid Muhadid. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalam, ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahabi ajma'in. My dear brothers and sisters from Adam, no matter if you black, white, brown, yellow, green, doesn't even matter. What I'm about to hand you is the keys. The keys to freeing you from bondage, freeing you from enslavement of creation, and freeing you from the enslavement of yourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentioned in the Quran, Ma khalaq the jannah wa ensa illa li ya'budun. I did not create the jinn or men except that they worship me. So the first step to freeing yourself from being enslaved is to know your purpose of creation. Why were you created in the first place? Allah created you solely for the purpose of worshiping Him. You were created to worship the one that created you. The simplicity of this 
and understanding, submission, submission to the will of the creator of the heavens and the earth and everything in between, this automatically frees you from any and every other form of slavery. Secondly, I'm hearing a lot of talk about lineage. People trying to ascribe themselves to tribes and all kinds of things. Like this gives you superiority or seniority in some way, shape, or form over creation. False narrative. Allah says in the Quran, Qul amanna billahi wa ma unzila alayna. Wa ma unzila ala Ibrahim, wa Ismail, wa Ishaq, wa Yaqub, wa Lasbat. Wa ma utiya Musa, wa Isa, wa Nabiyuna mi rabbihim. Allah says, say, we believe in Allah and what he has sent down to us. And what he has sent to Abraham, what he has sent to Ismail, what he sent to Isaac, and what he sent to Jacob, and what he sent to the 12 tribes, the 12 sons of Jacob. And what he has given to Moses, and what he has given to Jesus, and to all the prophets from their Lord. And we do not show no distinction between any of them. And to him, meaning Allah, we have submitted. So look at this. We believe in everything that Allah revealed. Everything he revealed to the first prophet, our father, Adam. You're not a child of God. You're a child of man. Adam is our father. He was the first prophet. The first messenger was Noah. All the way to the prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they all called to the same thing. They all had one religion. And that was the call to worship Allah and Allah alone. This is simple. This is why Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. Because anybody who has sound mind and a sound heart that can identify with the simplicity of what I'm saying from accepting the truth. Submission to the creator that has in the earth frees you from every other form of slavery. So these are simple things, man. So for all of you entertainers, influencers, you know, that's new to Islam, take the time out to learn your religion. Stop getting out there saying all this crazy stuff and putting yourself in the trick bag. These people who have created contingencies for people who are ignorant, ignorant of their purpose of creation. Ignorant of understanding who their Lord is. Ignorant of understanding who the messenger that was sent to free us from oppression and all of these things that reside in our society. If you really want freedom, I just gave you the key. But you got to take the handcuffs and shackles off yourself. I can't do it for you. Barakallahu feekum wa jazakallahu khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.